What's up guys? Welcome to Film Trash. I know it's been a while, uh, about three months actually, since I did my last video, and I am way behind on videos. I'm really going to try and push to get some more videos out there, and uh, yeah, we'll, we'll see how it goes. I've been really busy lately. So I haven't done a video in three months, so and I'm actually going to do my August, September, and October movie hauls uh, all in this one video and get them over with. So that way I can get kind of caught up again and uh, yeah, hopefully keep on track with making new videos. So I'm just going to jump right in and start with all of the movies that I bought in August. So first up we have a really cool Second Sight limited edition of Dog Soldiers. Uh, I actually have not seen this movie, um, but I love Second Sight. Their editions are amazing and uh, the artwork on this is just insanely cool. So. All right, next up we've got Flatliners. This is the Arrow Video Edition. I uh, really love this movie. This is the original. I never saw the remake and I'm not really interested in it. Uh, the, the original's great though. If you've seen the remake and haven't checked out the original, definitely check out the original, so. All right, next up we've got Child's Play. This is a pretty cool steel book I picked up uh, from Best Buy. Uh, I have the like Blu-ray box set that has all the movies in it, but I love steel books and uh, this is really cool. I like it. So, all right. And next up, we have another great Second Sight uh, limited edition release of Monster. Another really really cool movie. Uh, Charlize Theron, great performance, great makeup on her. Um, yeah, really really cool movie. All right, next up we've got, uh, of course, an A24 film, one that I haven't seen. I didn't get to see it in theaters, unfortunately, but it's Men. Um, yeah, I've heard some good things about it, so I'll have to check it out hopefully soon. And then we've got uh, the newest movie from David Cronenberg, uh, Crimes of the Future. Another one I did not get a chance to see in theaters. It actually didn't play here where I live, so I didn't get a chance to see it, but looks really cool, and I love David Cronenberg, so... Uh, next up, we've got one that's a bit different than the rest. It's The Green Planet, narrated by David Attenborough. I am a huge fan of David Attenborough, and I love uh, nature documentaries. I grew up watching them, so very cool. And then, last but not least, for August, another Second Sight limited edition, The Witch. Another really great film, um, huge fan. I love Robert Eggers, uh, I love everything he does. And uh, The Witch was his first film and, and definitely an amazing one. I highly recommend checking it out. All right, so that was August. Um, it was a really good month, especially with all the Second Sight editions that came out. September was a little bit lighter, but uh, still a good month. Um, so we start off with Thor, Love and Thunder, Steelbook. Um, I kind of stopped paying attention to the MCU, to be honest. Uh, I watched the newest Spider-Man movie, and that's pretty much it. I just kind of a lost interest, honestly. Um, not that I don't like them anymore, I just, I don't know, haven't had, a, haven't had an interest in the Marvel movies lately. But I'm still picking up the Steelbooks, so. All right, um, I'm actually gonna skip down here to Platoon. This is a Shout Select edition. I haven't seen this movie, but I know it's you know considered a classic. It's Oliver Stone. Um, I, I love Oliver Stone, so went ahead and picked it up. Um, pretty cool. And next up, we've got Hellboy Steelbook. Uh, this one actually came out quite a while back, and I missed out on it. But my local Best Buy had some more in stock, and I managed to get one. Which is also what happened with this next one, Halloween Kills. Uh, again, I had missed out on it originally, and uh, I didn't really think it was that good of a movie. But I wanted to get the Steelbook and, you know, keep the collection going. Um, I have the newest one, Halloween Ends, pre-ordered, even though, to be honest, I absolutely hated it. Uh, I won't discuss that here, but yeah, it was just not a good movie in my opinion. Alright, and that brings me to the last one that I picked up during September, which is a really great movie. I will say it is... A fantastic movie well acted well made but it is probably one of the hardest movies I've ever had to watch and it was martyrs and this is the 
Umbrella Beyond Genres edition of Martyrs. It's so... It's hard to recommend it because it's so disturbing and hard to watch, but it is such a good movie at the same time. So, if you're okay with disturbing movies, I highly recommend checking it out. Um, if you don't want to watch something that's really gory and, and disturbing and, and messed up, I would say probably avoid it. Alright, so... That brings us to October, and uh, October was another good month um, for movies. Uh, we're halfway through November right now, and November is turning out to be a great month, but there's also the Criterion sale going on at Barnes & Noble. I didn't do a Criterion haul video this year. Maybe I'll do one in July, or maybe if I feel like buying a couple extra this month, maybe I'll do one then. November's been a great month so far. October was also a really great month. So we'll start it off with Nope. The uh, Nope Steelbook from Best Buy. Um, I'm not that impressed with the artwork on the Steelbook, to be honest. But it was a really good movie. I love Jordan Peele. Um, probably my least favorite of his films, which isn't saying much because I love all of his films. Um, and, and even this one was just fantastic, so I highly recommend checking it out. Next up we've got uh, another A24 film, uh, one that I haven't seen again, Bodies, Bodies, Bodies. Um, I don't know, I, I don't know what to expect. Um, doesn't really look like my kind of movie, but I've heard it's kind of a fun movie, so yeah, we'll see. And then we have Mortal Kombat Legends Snowblind. This is another Mortal Kombat uh, animated movie. I still haven't watched the other one, um, or one or two, I'm not sure how many are out now. I think there might be a third one coming out, I don't remember. Um, I haven't been paying attention enough, really. But yeah, I got the steelbook from Best Buy, so. Very cool. Next up I've got a uh, trilogy actually. It's three steel books. It's The Godfather, Godfather Part 2, and The Godfather Coda. Um, all three steel books. Very cool. I already have the 50th anniversary big box set that I saw or that I, sh that I showed you guys in another video. Um, but again, I love steel books and I just I couldn't pass it up. All right. And speaking of steelbooks, next up we've got The Fog from John Carpenter. Uh, this is another one I have not seen. Uh, again, I know it's considered kind of a classic. Uh, I mean, everything John Carpenter does is a classic, you know. He's one of the greatest directors ever, to be honest. Um, yeah, had to pick up the steelbook, so. And, again, another steelbook. Uh, this movie, I really loved this movie when I watched it as a kid. I haven't watched it in a long time. I still think it's a great movie despite Keanu Reeves' uh, terrible accent, um, it's Bram Stoker's Dracula. I think uh, Gary Oldman's performance really uh, makes it a great movie, in my opinion. So, And then, last but not least, for the month of October, this is a movie I watched as a kid. Probably wasn't appropriate for me to be watching as a kid, but uh, I absolutely love it. It's Monty Python's The Meaning of Life. Obviously, Monty Python's more well-known for the Search for the Holy Grail, or even the Flying Circus TV show, but The Meaning of Life is such a fun movie. It's it's hilarious. I highly recommend it if you haven't seen it before. Um, and yeah, that's it. That's uh, my movies for the last three months. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video, and uh, if you did, hit the like and subscribe buttons. If you guys want to pick up some Film Trash merch, there is a link in the description below. Uh, go ahead and check that out. Really appreciate all you guys' support. Uh, I know I haven't been posting lately, but I'm going to try and pick that up and uh, and post more. Thanks for checking out the video, and I will see you guys next time.